And I've been playing that ringtone all day, so my uh, battery's about dead. Yes, I realize I could have plugged it into my laptop. But let's say I decided to go out and about. I would need some kind of way to charge my battery. I do have a car charger, but it's not really practical to stay in the car until my phone charges to full capacity. I've mentioned other external battery packs in the past, and uh, because of that, I was recently approached by these folks, well, at least the folks who make iPower, I-P-W-R, it's a backup battery uh, that is compatible with just about every iPod out there, iPhone 3G, iPod Touch, iPod Classic, iPod Nano, uh, the fifth generation iPod as well, and I guess it doesn't support the iPod Shovel, then again, what does? comes with just about everything you need, including the uh, USB cable to charge her up. And its profile is, is relatively small. Uh, it has a cap, which I can't say I was all that excited about because it's a piece that could very quickly and easily get lost. I would have appreciated if, if that had some kind of uh, maybe a, a plastic uh, tether to it so that it would just stay uh, somewhere near the device. Or maybe if I could clip it on to the back part of the external battery pack when I was charging it. Uh, simply clips on and stays connected in theory except it doesn't when you have a case like I do see it, it inevitably will fall out that's 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 a pretty big shortcoming for a battery and it's not really practical to remove your case every time you want to charge your iPhone or iPod the unique thing about the iPower or IPWR and by the way if you want a discount on it in case you don't have a case or if you like uh, what this has to offer as I get into the, the details and what separates it from the pack of iPhone battery packs, uh, go.tagjag.com slash IPWR will get you uh, the lowest price that we can find for the iPower IPWR. Uh, the most unique thing about IPWR is that it has an on-off switch. That is pretty important if you say charged up IPWR and to its fullest capacity you've got it sitting in your pocket you don't want it losing juice you only need it to charge when you need it to charge so when it's not charging turn it off so that it doesn't lose any juice it's got a nice little on off switch it also has the uh, USB connection although uh, one engineering uh, potential oversight here was that they placed the USB uh, connector or at least the port for it on the same side as the uh, connector for the iPod meaning you can't charge through so you're really only reliant on the juice that's in the iPower or IPWR I'm not exactly sure how they want me to say it but I'm gonna say iPower because it's pretty much what it is although it's spelled IPWR I've got to say it like 43 times I'm sure because someone inevitably will say how do you spell it I know there's going to be some pancake in the YouTube comments thread who's going to say, How do you spell it? I don't understand how you spell it. How do you spell it? Inevitably, I'll spell it 50 million times in the video, and someone's going to ask how you spell it. So, if you're looking for an external battery for the iPhone, look no further if you want one with an on-off switch. It's the only one that I know of that has an on-off switch. And there are a few of them out there uh, that can you know charge your iPod for you. But the on-off switch, I think, uh, could be very helpful if you don't want to lose the juice that you've um, you know, stored up. It's about $50 at this point in time. Uh, pretty competitive with other uh, iPhone batteries. And I, I'm very... Uh, when, when I say external battery for the iPhone, um, yes, you could go in and replace the battery inside the iPhone. It's not very practical, so you got to go with the, uh, the battery packs. Uh, I'm looking here on, on the box, uh, and it, it's about uh, 1.6 ounces. And it will charge the iPhone from death. It's uh, 1,800 milliamp hours. So uh, you basically have uh, the highest capacity external battery. And it's, it's uh, I would say, as far as the uh, full charge external battery packs that I've used or seen before, uh, in terms of the ones that clip onto the bottom, it is pretty small. Uh, and, and when it's in there, it is, it is solid when, of course, you're not using a case. If you are using a case... Um, you may want to wait for the next version of IPWR. However, 
as I said, not all is lost. I think it's very nice to have that on-off switch. So I will be using this. I will be carrying it around with me uh, just in case because you never know when you're going to need this. I've reviewed a handful of uh, batteries for the iPhone and, and iPods, and, and this, you know, I, I, I would certainly keep this around. I would. That's just me. And you know what? I'm going to keep it in the off position until I need it. Yes, me gusta tambien. My email address is chris at perillo.com. Maybe you've got an opinion about the IPWR or iPower. Go.tagjag.com slash IPWR is where you can get your own iPower external battery for the iPhone or iPod. At least the ones that I, I happen to list that were shown here on the, uh, the, the box for the iPower. iPower? Maybe that's, maybe that's it. Maybe they want me to say iPower. Backup battery for iPhone and iPod. Ah, I'm just saying. You're welcome to stop by geeks.perillo.com in case you have uh, other advice you'd like to pass along to the rest of the community. You can feel free to embed your YouTube videos there as well. And you're also welcome to stop by the chat room. We're typically talking tech, hardware, software, anything related to something that happens to be geeky in nature. You know what I'm talking about? Well, if you don't, then you might want to stop by the chat room. We're uh, streaming this video out live 24 hours a day, 7 days a week at live.perillo.com. We'll see you later.